Well, you never know what you're gonna see. Little homemade camper, little homemade truck camper. Let's see what it says on this thing. Made of wood. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know if it has a front window or not. Probably not. Wow, it is tiny. <laughs> The roof is latched on. I wonder if it raises. I bet it raises. Yeah, I bet it raises for more headroom. How cool. Might raise with a bunk on top. I don't know. Okay, so you get the rough version of me right now. My hair, it's just that. It's really super windy today, as I said before. Oh, it feels good to do stuff yourself. It really does. It feels really good. Proud of myself. Don't get too proud. Don't get too cocky because you don't know if it's really fixed. So, okay. Let's go to the Dollar General. Yeah, this place is becoming way too much of a city for me. Taco! Taco truck! The Taco Goro! Taco! Taco! How do you say taco in Spanish? Taco. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know that. Oh, she's sounding so good. Man. Let's hope that that fixes everything. Let's hope that this baby's going to go on for a long time now without any more issues. I so far, so good. Okay. We'll get my distilled water so I can maintain my batteries. Alrighty, yes it is it. So I'm going to uh, play with this, learn how to use it, and <laughs> I'll be using it today. It came just in time. As Soon as I leave the office, I'll go back down and put the van back together. But in the meantime, while I'm sitting here, I will open this and learn about it. Okay, let's plug this baby in. See what happens. I was able to upgrade it, update it this morning. Um, I called the company. They were awesome. They called me right away. I left a message last night, and they called me right away. And uh, sent me the file that I needed to update this. So here we go. Let's. Where's the key? <laughs> I just took the key out. There it is. Lost it. Losticated it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so actually, I probably should just go ahead and run it. There we go. So let's run this one first. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's not touch screen. Man, is it hot today? Holy cow. Whew. See if it throws any codes. It probably won't because the check engine light was turned off when I when I uh, disabled the battery. Yeah, no codes found, which is awesome. They don't have any stored data, so I don't have to erase any. Okay, so now we're going to do a ready test, and this will tell me whether it'll pass inspection or not. So, go over here and click OK. Let it read. It just probably won't pass inspection yet because I haven't really driven it since I cleaned those sensors. Still communicating. OK. Okay, so there we go. So the EVAP, 
the catalytic converter and the EGR I'll have red X's so there's still some issues but I haven't driven it so I've got to drive it to reset the computer okay well anyhow that's our status so I'll drive this and see what happens yeah I got a an alert here alrighty then okay let's take let's go for a cruise I just went down the wrong road but what a cool looking old building looks like it may have been a church it has no trespassing all over it so I'm not even gonna bother to get out of the car but wow that is cool looking and of course I hit a dead end so I'm gonna have to turn around let's see if I can uh, is this auditorium what is that what was that It says auditorium. What, if, what was that? Yeah, it says auditorium. Huh. What's the other one say? I can't make it out on the phone. Oh, you're a cool looking building. Really like it. Oh, I'm just going to drive around today. Set that reset that computer. I meant to take that road over there. Da, da. Missed it. Shot off a little too soon. We got a huge, huge rooster in this yard. Where'd he go? Oh, wow. Well, he's going to make a liar of me and go hide somewhere. <laughs> he was huge. Oh, well. It's <laughs> about right, huh? Nature mocks me. <laughs> I should have stopped and asked that lady what that was, but I didn't want to bother her. I'm sure somebody in the park might know that's lived here for a while. Okay, that's kind of a blind spot with that tree. Road I bunted. Food and beer to go. Mm, that sounds good, but I'm driving. There's a neat old house there too. They have some firm animals. There's a neat old place there. I love driving. Okay. Let's see if they got any critters out roaming around. Oops. Nope. No critters out roaming around. Oh, it's, they turned it into a restaurant and bar. Hmm. All righty then. Just continue on. I'm sorry, I'm holding this by hand. Okay, we are now at an RV park. Just uh, burning some miles. <laughs> Trying to reset my computer. vehicle computer that is. It's a decent RV park. I mean, you know, it's not a resort. We don't have any resorts in this immediate area. They're all RV parks. No uh, camping, no tents, no campfires, nothing like that. Because uh, people pretty much live full-time in these parks. Kind of like a residence kind of it's a month to month basis lots of people have lived here for a really really long time Actually, if I were to relocate, I'd probably come down here if I had to stay in this area because it's more country and I like the country and the quiet of the country much better. Let's get a 
little view. Yeah, they've been here a while. Back up a second, I'll show you something. Over there is one of those fifth wheels that has the pull out patio. That's pretty cool. It just, uh, it's like a toy hauler type of door and it just drops down and uh, opens up and then you have sliding doors to come in and out of. Those are kind of cool. Except I don't want, you know, I wouldn't mind living in one, but I don't want to travel in one. <laughs> I definitely don't want to travel in a fifth wheel. Whew. Nor do I have the vehicle for that. Nice clean little park. Very few people have items out. some more driving around another area some country roads and over here on the right we have a cemetery if it wasn't so freaking hot I'd might go and uh, check it out it's all chained off anyhow I just like to see how old and established it is some of it doesn't look too old though little private cemetery probably for this church. Oh man. Oh, there's one over there by itself. Oh well. And there's the church. Here. Newer, more modern type of church which you typically see. Let's just see how far we can go. It is a dead end, though. I see vultures. Vultures. See vultures. And you see a deer fence over on this side. So it's pretty high. People want their privacy out here. I don't blame them. They don't want me coming back here. Dead looky loos. Kind of cool. I've never been back on this road before. Looks like I'm fixing to hit the dead end. <laughs> as long as there's no guns involved, right? You know, it'd be kind of cool to stay back here in the middle of nowhere. But the coyotes, oh, the coyotes really, uh, I, they, they make, it, they're just eerie. I just don't like the sounds of coyotes. That house is up on stilts. So that indicates that it might be a floodplain back here. Actually, it looks like it's still being built. Oh, that's cool. Okie dokie. Time to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then. Da, 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 da. Okay. Private property. Keep out. Keep your buns off our property. Huh. U.S. government research facility. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Bombs involved. <laughs> Get the guns. <laughs> I'll throw a grenade at me. Alrighty then. Let's go find somewhere else to explore. You have got to be kidding me. My ABS light just came on. It has never come on on this van before. Of course. I'm driving around to reset my miles, but I thought, okay, we'll go out to 
see another RV park just for the fun of it. Uh, I think I've driven about <laughs> maybe 30 miles. Of course, that's 30 miles back, right? So, yeah, that's good then. Okay, here's the RV park. From what I remember, there's a little, like, a uh, farm-like thing over here where they had sheep and goats and chickens and stuff. Yeah, it's still there. Of course, now my window's, whoops, now my window's absolutely filthy. It's gonna be crooked. There we go. Yeah, there's a sheep over there. They had a huge turkey the last time I was down here. This big rooster over there. Oh yeah, there's the turkeys. The, oh yeah, there's the dude. There's the dude. <laughs> you see him? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're just... <laughs> That's cool. There's uh, three of them. And they're out there just showing off. That is awesome. Love it. I love it. So cool. they have lattice around the trees to keep the critters from eating the trees. Oh, I'm going to go off the road here. <laughs> Looking at the little mini farm. Okay, so we'll go back over here again. Back to where it's boring. <laughs> get lots of sky. Oh, come on. Can't get it quite right. Oh, it's because I did zoom back out. There we go. like they're putting in a new septic system. It's a tiny RV park from what I remember in the past. We had some uh, questionable people, questionable, blah, questionable people that uh, moved from this park into ours and the guy ended up in jail. He was a thief. He was just a thief. He was a tweaker. And uh, yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. So after that point, we changed our rule to the 10 year ruling, which is, you know, I know it's hard for people that maintain their RVs and keep up with their RVs and that are good people. It's hard for them to understand that the, there's also a good majority of bad people that live in older RVs that do not maintain them and do not take care of things. And usually it shows. Yeah, you can see that old RV over there that's falling apart. Old Coachman Motorhome. Maybe around the same year as mine. <laughs> Yeah, they have some decent ones, but for the most part, they're pretty old RVs. That one right there. Yeah. And then there's a FEMA trailer there with the slide. And a mobile home. Hmm. Okay, turn around. to get a lot of cougars, a lot of cougar motor, or um, um, fifth wheels. Oh, there's a really old Airstream over there. Huh. It's in storage though. So we used to get a lot of cougar fifth wheels. They were really popular at one time. go. Yeah, it's a pretty small RV park. So my 
everybody's got their gardening going on. What a big tour, huh? <laughs> it's a huge rock on the middle of the road, too. Somebody's gonna hit that, they're gonna know it. Okay, let's go play with the turkeys. Is it gonna rain? Kind of weird. I don't even know what time it is. It's still in the afternoon though. She had the animals. Yeah, the turkeys are done. <laughs> They're not flaring their feathers anymore. That was cute. Oh no, they're over there now. Yeah. <laughs> Silly creatures. I go out. I think it's the height of the babies. Hey guys. Getting some nibbles there. <laughs> you can hear the turkeys. Come on, camera. What are you doing? Can you hear them? <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. And it's starting to rain. Oh well, phone's getting really hot anyhow. Remember when my windshield wipers were broken? <laughs> that really sucked. Okay, let's go home. All the little lammies are going home now. Like, yeah, we're not, uh, we don't want to get all wet. When our hair gets wet, it gets really yucky. And on the way, um, yeah, there was a traffic accident. It wasn't too bad, but, well, I say that. It wasn't my car that got crunched. It was a beef. One of those plastic VW Beetles got crunched. Who knows what the circumstances was. Come on, witch wipers. Be very careful. I forgot that that was here. I would have attempted to go another way. Everybody out here flagging traffic or anything. Wow. Alrighty. If it was really bad, I wouldn't have filmed it. Because that kind of stuff weirds me out. Okay, I just drove about 50 miles. We're going to check the uh, ready test see if that made a difference
Ugh. I meant to print data. Let me go back up here. Okay. I probably need to dri I drive at least another 30 to reset the computer. And uh, the ABS light is off again, so I don't know what was up with that. Okay, well, let me see. One of them cleared, but we still have a problem with the evaporator system and the EGR. That EGR has been a big problem. So, we'll drive it some more tomorrow and uh, see if that helps. I don't know what that means. One. Okay, we're going to go back. Escape. And we're going to do a, a scan. Okay, uh, let's go hook it. Okay, whatever. Well, read codes, okay? Okay, we did get a uh, a code, exhaust gas. What's that say? Recirculation flow insufficient detected. And yes, the van was starting to act up and getting sluggish, so, hmm. So yeah, okay. I take a picture of that and uh, let my mechanic know because we still have an issue here somewhere. I'm sure it has something to do with the EGR system still. Okay, I put the miles on that I was supposed to and uh, yeah, my check engine light came back on. Shoot. So, I'm running another diagnostic. Read codes. Okay, the same code, but I guess it just caused the check engine light to come on. Okay, well, we fixed one thing. So we still have the EG or the EVAP problem. Okay. Read codes. Are there any other codes? I guess that's just it. Okay. And so, as fate has it, I ran another test and the t now another code popped up. The old P0401, which is exhaust gas recirculation flow, insufficient detected, and the new one, P0171, system to lean bank one. As you can see, all the systems check clear now. However, with those two codes, it still will not pass inspection. Plus, with the check engine light, that won't pass as well. So, thank you for watching. Live the life you love. And thank you for enduring through this long video. Take care, y'all. Goodbye.